The Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square present Music and the Spoken Word. Conducting today's program is Mac Wilberg with organist Andrew Unsworth and The Spoken Word by Lloyd Newell.
Hundreds of years ago, Shakespeare wrote this timeless wisdom. They do not love that do not show their love. Yes, love is a feeling, an emotion, a noun, but even more, love is a verb, an action, a decision. Feelings may come and go, but actions, serving, sacrificing, expressing love, can support those feelings as the years unfold. Our actions show the depth and meaning of our love. They give substance to our feelings, and they help us remain steadfast and true. So what are the actions that express our love, and how can we turn the love we feel into love we show? There are as many ways to show love as there are people. When I come home and I notice that my family is stressed, or even my mom, I always go to the kitchen, start making my world-famous mac and cheese, and that always brightens my family's day, and I know my mom really likes it. One of the best ways I usually show love at home is by doing service. Uh, for instance, I have my uh, one of my daughters. Um, she's struggling with uh, uh, mental health, and usually I always look Hey, how I'm, what, what I do I need to do to make her happy? I love when I'm out and about, whether it's at work, whether it's at the store, whether it's um, different situations. I love to strike a conversation with people I don't know. And I usually look for some commonality. I have talked to people who just were down. They seemed sad, and the minute I started talking to them, a big smile went on their face. I look at them and I can feel Heavenly Father's love for them. Every time, it makes me happy and it, it helps me be a better person. On another occasion, Shakespeare called love an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. True love, selfless love, does not wither as life becomes more complex and difficult. If anything, the roots and branches of our love grow deeper and wider with each shared experience, even unexpected or challenging experiences. This kind of love is the most enduring and most needed power in the universe. Of course, like anything of great value, love does not bloom overnight. Love grows to its full beauty gradually. It takes time, but love is undaunted because, as the Apostle Paul taught, love beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, and never faileth. I think one of the keys to any loving relationship revolves around forgiveness. Um, there's, there's often uh, disagreements, misunderstandings. Uh, we have different ways we, we do things. Um, but if we can be forgiving of the other person and also be able to be humble enough to ask for forgiveness, then that, that the love in that relationship grows and, and strengthens. Well, the Savior expressed His love so perfectly. And so for me, that's a wonderful reminder and a wonderful example about how when I love someone and choose to do something to serve them, I've got to do it without any expectation of appreciation back from them. I've got to do it because I love them. Because of love, I become braver and become more happier in life. When things are hard and difficult, 
it is love that kept you going. Because you stop thinking about your problem, you think about other people's problem, and you're not alone. And that gives me a lot of happiness. People always ask me, why are you so happy? And it's because of love.
This performance continues the 93rd year of continuous broadcasting of this historic program. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you this day and always.